Kendall, thank you. We turn now to our other big story of the night, the presidential primary election. As expected here in Michigan, there were no surprises. For the Republicans, former President Donald Trump has won his fifth state in the primary calendar, defeating Nikki Haley 66% to 28%. The Trump campaign is looking to lock up the 1,215 delegates needed to secure the Republican nomination sometime in mid-March. And for the Democrats, President Joe Biden has won the Michigan Democratic primary, but Democrats were also closely watching the results of the uncommitted vote as Michigan has become the epicenter for dissatisfied members of Biden's coalition that propelled him to victory in the state back in 2020. Party leaders are rallying around tonight's results, energizing their bases months ahead of the general election. Josh Sanchez joins us now in the studio with reaction. Josh, what are you hearing? Well, Sherry and Siobhan, Michigan's primary came earlier this election cycle ahead of major contests for next week. From what I've heard from major names in both parties, the road to the White House leads through the Great Lakes state. We will do the work that's necessary to send Joe Biden and Kamala Harris back to the White House this November to defend our democracy and fight for our most fundamental freedoms. Michigan Democratic Party Chair Lavora Barnes encouraged campaign volunteers and voters online minutes after the polls closed tonight. She was joined by prominent Democrats like Senator Debbie Stabenow, New Jersey Senator Cory Booker, and Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. I mean, I think you know, we've got a presumptive nominee. In Grand Rapids, Michigan GOP Chair Pete Hoekstra met with party members. With another win going to the Trump camp, Hoekstra says the former president is all but certain to be the GOP nominee. Trump has the momentum, national polls, everything indicate that this race is over. Uh, if, it, if Nikki stays in for a couple of more weeks or whatever, uh, the bottom line is, you know, I think most folks recognize this is going to be Joe Biden uh, versus Donald Trump. The uncommitted movement among Democrats was a sticking point leading up to the polls opening today. Arab American and Muslim American voters were pledging to vote for none of the Democratic candidates as the war in Gaza rages. In a statement, the organizers with Listen to Michigan say in part, we don't want a Trump presidency, but Biden has put Netanyahu ahead of American democracy. We can't afford to pay the bill for disregarding Palestinian lives should it come due in November. Michigan State University professor Matt Grossman says he's not sure if the backlash would directly change foreign policy. A protest vote, that's consciously a protest vote, and people want to express themselves, and they'll be able to do that and get attention uh, for that expression. But I'm not sure uh, it'll matter a lot just what exact percentage they get. Now, with 31 percent of votes counted, the uncommitted choice has gotten 14.1 percent of the vote. Now, the next set of primary contests are set for several states around the country next Tuesday. Back to you. Thank you, Josh. On this 